to get the screws off from this DVD drive. One back here. And then there's two over here. start doing some work. And this is going to be a front screw. the old DVD drive and basically I just have to take uh, this connector off this little mount off here. Thank you. 
trying to forego the two front screws and they're using the pressure from the top of the case to hold this uh, in place. you to screw this back one in, not the front one. It would be nice if they made these so it would be identical to what you're removing from the system. Again, you're not putting these two front screws back in. Basically, the case is going to be holding this in place. Um, be very careful with this connector because that's, that's what's shooting all your video out uh, to the display. And um, let me put this other piece back in now. And I just found out that the only thing I need to get to fix that one screw and then you know the thread screwed up on these little mounting pieces which is this side right here it's not the actual case itself that I have to worry about so that's the one bonus of me not having to worry about removing this entire piece and I guess I can get it from like I fix it or maybe even order it from Apple I maybe have to take it in so I won't have any downtime whatsoever all right now I'm going to put the cover back on and I'm going to boot her up and I should see the second drive there. Okay. And save your screws that you didn't put back so that if you ever have to put the uh, drive back in, it's um, available for you because you'll need those screws when you, if you put the original back in if you're selling it or something like that. Okay, now for the three longer screws.
use the initial hard drive to make Mac HD and the storage drive. So now I got a terabyte with the storage in my MacBook Pro. Works for now until they made bigger drives for me. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, look forward to more. Ciao.